I'm gonna make some one ingredient non-dairy banana ice cream and I used to make this in the Vitamix but I decided to try to make it in the food processor because so many people don't have a Vitamix and I actually discovered that I like the consistency better using any old food processor. What you're gonna need is one to two frozen bananas per person and what I do is when my bananas get ripe I peel them, break them in half, and throw them in a Ziploc bag and keep them in the freezer. And sometimes I even buy a bunch of extra ripe ones on purpose just for freezing them to make this or to make smoothies. So we need one banana, two bananas, three bananas, four bananas because we're pigs and we're gonna eat two bananas per person. For the food processor, if you're doing it with a Vitamix, you can leave them like this and use the tamper, but since we're using the food processor, you're going to want to cut them up into chunks. And you might want to let them sit out for a minute. Mine have been out for just a minute. So they're not too hard to cut up. They don't have to be rock hard for this to work. Be careful when you're cutting them when they're this hard because if you slip, you're going to chop your thumb. Exciting, I know. Almost done. We're in the home stretch. And sometimes I add, for four bananas worth, a half a teaspoon of a pumpkin pie spice blend just to mix it up a little now and then, but today we're doing just straight up banana. All right, put your lid on, crank it up, and depending how it goes, sometimes I have to stop it and scrape the sides down, so we'll see. Scrape it. Where's my spatula? Scrape the sides down. You want to just get all of this smashed down to the bottom so it can mix in. And my bananas are pretty frozen pretty hard. If they're a little bit thawed out, this actually works a little bit better because the bottom starts to melt and then this the whole process goes a little faster, but alright. because I decided to film today. This is the first time this has ever happened. And I don't know what the problem is, but... Any idea, Chad? Mm -mm. But you're my witness. This has never happened. That you know of. Alright, I'm kind of scraping the bottom here a little too. Trying to mix it up a little better. It's usually not this complicated, but... You get what you get with us. And apparently, it could potentially happen, so we might as well show it to you. You may have to scrape it down a couple of times. If you have uncooperative bananas. faith and perseverance get ya. It's like hard serve ice cream. Now this will fill, I'm just going to show you how much I'm going to make this. This 
is two fairly sizable bananas. I mean four. <laughs> we'll pretend it was two. All right, so each person, each piglet is gonna get <laughs> two whole bananas worth. Not too shabby compared to what used to be in the ice cream bowls I used to scoop up. A little something from Cold Stone or some Goodrich mint chip ice cream, some cookie dough. Not gonna lie, the bowl on the left is probably for me. <laughs> All right, so that was pretty quick. It usually goes quicker than that. Two sizable portions of one ingredient, non-dairy, banana ice cream.